I have just found a new terminal based AI coding engine, which can help you generate code, solve complex problems, read your entire code base and so much more. This is where I would like to introduce Plandex. Plandex is an open source project that is employing long running agents to tackle complex tasks that are spanning across multiple files. It breaks down large tasks into smaller sub stacks. It systematically implements them into each category and it will basically focus on each of them until completion. Now, Plandex is something that streamlines the backlog management, aids in navigating unfamiliar technologies, resolves roadblocks, and even minimizes the time spent on mundane tasks. Now, in GIST, it's a great tool, as they have stated, for code generation, and it will actually enable you to build complex software with the help of AI. Now, just take a look at this demo video, which will showcase the workflow of Plandex further in detail. Now, just to get this out there before we move forward, Plandex is not your regular AI code completion tool. It's not something that we've seen with ADAR or with Bloop. Its purpose is to build and solve complex tasks. And we can see that you're able to build complex software with the help of Plandex. Now, what you want to do first is decide what your prompt is or describe what you want it to actually build. So in this case, they stated that based on the readme file, as well as the usage files, I want to customize the next.js tailwind UI template in the slash site folder. So to use, uh, to use as planned X's website. In this case, he states that remove sections if there's no context for them or they don't apply to Plandex. Update all site copy that remains based on the readme and usage files. Keep the templates structure and styling. And we can see that once that prompt is given, it loads the relevant context that is needed, such as inputting the readme file as well as the usage files. And once this is loaded, you can then send over the prompt which I believe you send as your third step. And once that is sent in, it will then start making the plan with the different agents that are going to be working in the back end. It will then implement the code that is needed based off the prompt or the context that we had provided. And we can see that it will even go forward in continuously working on finding if there's bugs afterwards. And at this moment, you're not going to be able to see the code that it, like the changes of the code because this is just a simple demo video but we can see this is a rough example as to what happened it updated the heading text to ready to revolutionize your development process and you can see that the before code and it structures it in a different way it, you can see that it's making steps so you can actually take a look at what changes have been made with the help of plandex and there's a lot more examples in this video so if you're interested definitely take a look at it. You can go back a step, you can rewind a step, you can have it do various functions. And it's something that we're going to be taking a look at throughout today's video. So with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned. We're going to be taking a look at Plandex further in detail. So with that thought, guys, let's get right into it. Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a patron this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at this new framework called Plandex. Now, this is something that will facilitate the building of complex software with the help of large language models. Currently, they use OpenAI's API, but they're going to be allowing you to use open source models, Google Gemini, as well as Anthropic Cloud, which would be really, really good. Now, in terms of building complex software, it's allowing you to obviously facilitate the development of it, but you can see that changes are accumulated in the protected sandbox. This is where you're allowing the possibility for Plandex to review before applying them to the project files. It's allowing you to include built-in versions where you can control 
the files for easy rollback. You have experimentations, debugging, different approaches for using different branches from the code that is generated. You're able to efficiently manage context within the terminal. And this is by adding files or dictionaries and keeping them automatically updated as you work. And the great thing is that you're allowed to have Plandex give the full, full like enabling it so that it can basically access your whole code base, which is something that many developers would really like. It's something that is compatible with Mac, Linux, you have free BSD, you also have Windows, and you're operating from a single binary without any sort of dependencies. So it's quite easy to install. You can definitely just copy this, paste it into your command prompt, and you're gonna be able to install it quite easily. You also have a manual install where you can grab the appropriate binary, and this is where you can go to the latest release to access it. You can build from the source. You're gonna be able to even install it with Windows with the supported WSL. Now, they also have a cloud version, which will be coming soon. But in this case, at the moment, you're only going to be able to install it locally or having it hosted on the cloud by yourself. Now, there's a couple of limitations that you want to keep in mind. And this is something where Plandex can provide significant boost to your productivity. But as with any other AI tool, you shouldn't expect perfect results, meaning that there's going to be hallucination. There's going to be times where it's not going to be able to generate the full context that you that you would want it to actually generate. Now, they stated that LMs may not always provide perfect file updates. And this is to the reasoning of limitations that a large language model may have. And this is where they stated that you can use the Plandex changes command. And this is to improve the results and review updates that have made mistakes previously. And you can correct them manually. So you can clear the context, you can improve the results, and you can experiment with the Plandex rewind feature, which will definitely help you out as it's something that branches for better outcomes and it will actually make sure that you don't make the same edit across the whole code base. So if there's a, like a hallucination in the code or an inaccuracy, it won't make the change to the whole code base. It'll create a separate file so that you can basically rewind and go through the code to make sure that if it's actually something that you would want to implement towards the whole code base. So that's a really cool nifty feature, but that is one of the limitations as the LMs may not always provide perfect lines. And this is kind of understandable. We've seen this with many other projects. So that's just one thing you would want to keep in mind whenever you work with any sort of framework or coding tool. If you would like to book a one on one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI. Definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Now, I'm probably going to make another video once they have a cloud setup, because that's, I think, one of the ideal things for new coders. And I think that whenever there is that cloud setup, it'd be easier for anyone to access. So I'm definitely going to be making another video to showcase the overall platform and showcase how you can get started. They have a roadmap where they're going to support open source models. They plan on sharing and having this team collaboration system where multiple people can work in a single workflow. You have the ability to support GPT-4 Vision and other multi-modal models, which would be really cool. JetBrains as well as VS Code integration. You have community plugins and modules, GitHub integration, web dashboard and GUI. You have SOC2 compliance as well as fine tune model. And that's about it for Plandex. I know this was a short little video and I didn't really go into the installation. It's because I need to really head out as I'm going out of town, but it's just a short little video to put some spotlight on this new framework, which is gonna be really beneficial for a lot of developers. So I'll definitely be making another video on this. Make sure you stay tuned for the Twitter video where I'm gonna be focusing on the installation. And I'm also gonna be focusing on the cloud version once it does come out. But with that thought guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some sort of value. Make sure you check out the Patreon page if you wanna access our private Discord. We're actually giving away a subscription to Nexus GPT for the full year. So make sure you sign up before April 30th. If you haven't already, make sure you check out our Twitter page. This is a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out fellas.